Have you ever recorded a voiceover project and you were so confident that you nailed it? First take, you nailed it. And then you listen to the playback and all throughout there were tongue clicks and mouth noises and ugh, the whole recording is ruined. Have you ever wondered what it is that you can do to stop it? Well, in this video, we are going to talk about just that. I have three tips and tricks for you that you can do actually to reduce those awful mouth noises that happen during our recording. So if you're ready, let's get started. Welcome back to Speak Easy. This is the live edition. So anyway, my goal for this channel is to help those aspiring voiceover talents, the new ones, the ones who are starting out to actually make a profitable business out of being a voiceover. Okay, so anyway, I am going to share some tips and tricks for you. Uh, but before anything else, do subscribe to the channel if you want any more new videos like this one. And also tap the notification bell. This is just so you know if I have new videos out. So we're talking about the dreaded noise that come up in our voiceover recording. Now, the funny thing about this is you only really find out that it's there when you do the playback. So you really have to make sure that going into your recording studio, that you've done everything that you can to make sure that you don't have those noise. So I always say also that it's better to take care of it on the front end, meaning before you go into the studio and start recording or during the recording, rather than taking care of it post or at the back end, because really there's not a lot you can do once you've done the recording. And I know that I've made a video on that, on making sure that you have a quiet room and that you have the right position in your mic. So all of these things, I have a video on that. So you might wanna check it out. I'm going to link it down at the description box below and also link it up here. I think it should be up here. I may be wrong. Okay, so here we go. We are going to talk about some tips and I do have my notes over here. So first of all, we have to understand why it happens, right? The first thing to keep in mind is your mouth is dehydrated. That means that your saliva is kind of on the thick side and that's why it's making that extra clicky noise when you talk. So the first tip that I'm going to give you is to hydrate. I'm not telling you to drink a lot of water during recording or just before. You should do it the night before, you know, making sure you're hydrating yourself continuously. But just before you go to recording, don't drink a lot of water. That might make some um, noise in there as well. So if you are going to have a long session, recording session, and you do need to take a break, I encourage you to just drink a sip of water. So I have my props here. So always have a glass of water beside you when you are recording, but don't drink a lot of it. So what you want to do is just take a little sip. And that's it. Just a sip will do the trick. So again, you want to make sure that you are hydrated before going into the recording session. And if your mouth feels a little bit dry, you just take a little sip of water. Okay, so that is it for tip number one. Let's get down to tip number two. So usually if you're hydrated and you're still having those clicking noises, it might be because you have a lot of residue inside your mouth. It could be like film in your mouth for whatever reason. Maybe you had like a chocolate bar beforehand. So that's another tip actually. Make sure you eat the right things just before you go recording. So don't eat anything sweet. Don't drink anything carbonated that will make you burp. So what you can do about that film residue that you might have is not to brush your teeth, okay? Brush your teeth as usual, but don't brush your teeth just before recording because I find that that also makes my mouth feel little weird. You know how it is when you brush your teeth and just after it, it feels like all tingly and it it's a little on the dry side. So don't do that just before recording. But I do 
suggest, and I've done this a couple of times. I'm not going to do it in front of you, though. I do suggest apple cider vinegar, just half a teaspoon of it in water, and you're not going to drink it, although you can. Apple cider is known for so many benefits, but in this case, you don't. You just swish it around your mouth, like, you know, how you would gargle. Just swish it around there, under the tongue, uh, in between the, the gum and your upper lip, and if you can get it down in your lower lip and your gum everywhere and then spit it out. And that should really help you get that residue out of your mouth. So try it, really try it and see what happens to your mouth. And do let me know down at the comments section if you've tried it and it actually worked because I do it. Okay, so actually I have a second tip for that. If you don't like the apple cider vinegar, that's okay. A lot of people also recommend apples. But I don't like apples though. So I don't do that. I do do, I do do, <laughs> I do do gum. I find this is also very effective for me if I'm not doing the apple cider vinegar or if I feel I want to maybe do some extra cleaning in my mouth. So this is a peppermint, but a lot of voiceover talents wear by spearmint. I don't know what the difference is, but for me, this also works. So if you want to try it out, then also do that. So it's just a little gum. Stick it in your mouth. Now, don't chew it just yet. Swirl it around your mouth as well. So I hope this is not gross, okay? I'm just trying to teach you, okay? Trying to give you my tips and tricks here. So just put it in your mouth and just don't chew it yet. Just swirl it around inside your gum and then you rub it against your mouth, your tongue, and you instantly feel it cleaning it up there. And then you bite on the gum a little bit and then you just swirl it around over there and then there you go. That makes my mouth feel extra clean and ready to go. Hang on. Let me just get rid of this. Okay. I'm back. My third tip is to know your mouth. Okay. Find out what your mouth does when it makes those clicking noises. What is the position of your tongue? Okay. What is the position of your lips, your cheeks? your mouth in general. You have to know your mouth so that you can make necessary adjustments. And these are the very, very basic that a voiceover needs to know. You need to be able to control the movement in your mouth. You can't just let your tongue flail around over there and expect it to not have those noise or clicking sound when you do your recording. So find out what it is. For example, let me give you my, my challenges my biggest challenge would be the letter L and that every time I would end a sentence and go to the next sentence. Oh, that's my dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you hear him? So every time I would actually end a sentence and go into the next sentence, I would close my mouth. So when I close my mouth, my lips would touch. And then when I open my mouth again, there will be that popping sound. So I learned that a long time ago and I still do it now. And I really have to be very careful that I know what my the position of my mouth is. So for that one, if you close your mouth, every other sentence or every paragraph, you have to be aware of that. So make sure that you don't, in fact, close your mouth and you can actually speak without closing your mouth. And I think I do that even on videos. So if you see my mouth open all the time, please forgive me. It's a habit of a voice over talent. It will feel weird for a bit, but if you keep on doing it, then you will get used to it. And before you know it, it's just part of your whole thing. And you won't really do it when you're talking to someone. It just becomes automatic when you're in front of the microphone inside of the studio that your brain kind of clicks and it kind of knows that you are about to do a voiceover recording. Okay, this is my next challenge. If there's an L in the middle of the word, like in the word release, okay, release. So my tongue would come up from the bottom of my mouth, go up to the roof of my mouth, and then touch the roof of my mouth. And by the time it comes down, that 
the touching and then the releasing will have a sound. So that means there will be a click in the recording. So what I do when I say release or anything like that with the letter L or any letter that touches the roof of my mouth, I try not to let my tongue reach the top of my mouth. So there will be no contact. And so therefore there will be no need to release. So instead of saying release all the way up to my mouth, I try to control my tongue and say release, release. So it's all about the control. Try to do that as well. Try to record yourself and see if there are any more tongue clickings and mouth noises. So please do let me know down at the comment section if you've done it. What are your most uh, problematic letters, your most problematic word when you do recordings that make those awful noises and those sounds? Actually, I just came out of a voiceover project and that was my problem. The client was very strict about it. And so I really had to go through it, go over it and make sure that I didn't have any clicks. Well, I don't recommend apps that the clicks or the S's because it does something to the sound and I don't feel confident in submitting something like that. So I have to do it manually and de-click all of my files. See, that is why it's so important that you do it on the front end rather than the back end. But I promised uh, a bonus tip for you and this is what it is. Always record your voice recording more than once. I tend to do it three times. I do different versions, first of all. And then, you know, for safety, I just read through it again. And I find that is very helpful because if there is a click in there that is in the middle of the word and I cannot take it off by manually taking it out, then what I would do is I would go to my other files, look for that certain sentence with a click and see if that has a click as well. If it doesn't, and if the tone is just about the same, I can copy and paste that onto the file. And of course you have to listen to it, okay? Don't just submit it, you have to listen to it and see if it's flawless, if it's smooth, if the client will not be able to know that that came from a different file. So that is my bonus tip for you. Uh-huh. So hopefully you are learning something from me today. Do let me know down at the comment section if you are. And if you are interested in more videos like this one, please do subscribe to the channel and also tap the notification bell so that you would know if uh, there is a new video out and share this with your friends. Okay, well, this is it for this video, but don't go anywhere. If you are new here and this is the first time you've heard about Speak Easy, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a lot of tips and tricks for you. Go ahead and check out my other videos on there. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Cheers. <laughs>